I picked this guy up here. It's got a huge hole in the side of the block there. Today I'm getting some junkyard gas and lo and behold, would you look at that? Got good compression, so. the motor swapped over his donor motor was in the scrap pile for a reason and that is pretty sure it needs a camshaft because turning it over you get to right there and there's just ton of compression camshaft uh, valve relief there the little um, weight probably flew off on the camshaft I guess it's a common thing on these that needs to come back off and the motor needs to get torn apart Something better than having the best hand tools is having hand tools with sentimental value. This belonged to a friend of mine who unfortunately took his own life, but he had a very successful uh, exhaust repair shop. And because of that, I take extremely good care of this. I'll probably have this till the day I die. she's jacked up if you look right there you can see this little springy guy here see how he's just hanging out here's your governor where's the arm the little arm that's supposed to be there is MIA of it. I've seen this one chunk which isn't a great sign. I know there's a lot more. Is it in the oil pan? Oh there it is. Found it. This is what we're missing. It's actually a good spot for it to hang out really. There we go. That's the problem. Right, let's go ahead and clean this gasket off. Baiting surfaces are clean. Nice and flat. Here's the new camshaft. They look pretty much identical to me. That's what that's supposed to look like. You can see as it spins around, it goes to this flat side. Now you're getting full compression. And 
and they sent me a new seal and I mean this one looks okay off by a tooth there we go see how the timing marks mark up Very nice. Now for these to go back on, you're supposed to torque them. I'm not gonna do that. Now I took these all the way off. You don't have to do that. I probably shouldn't have done that. We got to find top dead center. All the way down. All the way up. Back down. If you can see there's a decimal place. It goes teens, hundreds, one thousandths. So it's just I've got resistance, but I can still go in. Giggity. Yeah, that's good. Pull this carb off quick. Yeah, this is bad. That's supposed to be in the out position. When you put power, it pulls it down. It's stuck down. We go check the other engine quick. If you can tell on camera, but this one's springy. So when power goes to this, it sucks that in and allows fuel to go up into the jet. We replace the camshaft, and uh, apparently, apparently, uh, apparently. I'm going to put it on that mower over there, and apparently I'm going to be happy if it doesn't leak. And I'll even be more happy, apparently, if it uh, runs. So, apparently we're going to go do that. We are on our way to Napa. We'll get some pots, Bob. Right in there. Yeah, for pro former. Now this is a hot debate I've had with a buddy. I always say you need to use old motor oil when you take to lube up the filter uh, gasket. He tells me that's a bad idea and you need to use new oil. But I was taught that using the old oil helps keep the gasket from uh, sticking. Oh, she's a beaut. He's a beauty! Mmm! This is good! Ah. Ugh. It's cold! <laughs> You want a little tip? A new action? It's a new camera angle. Don't leave your camera in one spot. It appears the starter is smoking. I'm gonna pop that starter off and put the other one on. Then I took that off, I didn't even notice the giant nest in here.
thinking I should pull the carb off the other one. Let's just do that just because. I swapped the carbs out. Here's another quick mod. Take a couple uh, snips. Bam! I don't have to take these shoulder nuts all the way out. go over the cost it was like 60 bucks that's what i got for both motors basically i just paid scrap price the uh, cam said it was an aftermarket one on amazon had good reviews that was like 36 bucks went to napa i had to get the uh, oil filter and the, and the oil that was 22 dollars plus the battery which was 36 so what's that 88 plus 94 94 plus 60 i think that was it 154 bucks so $154 and I've got a perfectly good working craftsman mower with a 42 inch cut and 21 horsepower motor. Well that's it for this video. Next one's probably going to be the welder or the go-kart. Uh, I've been helping Andrew on the back end here with uh, some permitting stuff. Still doing the merch store for him. I'm hoping to get out there this year. I haven't been out there yet but I've uh, been kind of uh, low on the funds. You know I'm poor. And resourceful.